don't know about you, but if you're getting a medical device put inside you, I'd make sure that it's safe and effective. And that's what regulatory affairs is about, making sure the products that we use, whether it be in a medical space or pharmaceutical space, that it is safe for people. It's about the patients at the end. So I think it's important to have people in that space who are on the patient side and want to make sure that they're getting the care that they need for a given uh, disease or prevention and to uh, yeah be a part of that but from the back room if that makes sense as opposed to being at the front with the patient itself. So I think it's very important to have people on that war path and getting the new device and the new technology on the market. I currently am a Senior Regulatory Affairs Specialist. What my day looks like is uh, reviewing technical documentation, whether that be protocols, reports, plans, uh, compliance matrices for a given standard. I also am drafting regulatory submissions, whether that be for the US pre-submissions or PMA supplements or writing the technical documentation for MDR. I'm also giving regulatory advice when uh, there's a certain change that we want to implement, whether it be to a product or to a manufacturing process, whatever it may be. I'm there to listen and to try to put the piece of the puzzle together and give um, an informed response. Uh, so I've been in regulatory affairs for the last three years. I originally was working as an intern for an orthopedics company doing R&D work, so working on custom implants. And my manager at the time said, hey, I think for your full-time position, why don't you try reg affairs? And I was thinking, oh no, <laughs> is he saying I'm a failed engineer? That's what I used to think about regulatory affairs. You know, you're not doing the technical content anymore. You're doing, you know, paperwork and writing things. Um, but I thought, you know what? I'll listen to what he has said, uh, give it a go. I gave it a go and turns out I was really good at it. Um, since then I've been loving it and taking other roles and trying to learn more about the profession itself. I like how diverse it is. I didn't realize how diverse it could get. I just thought, oh, he'll be stuck with the same product, doing the exact same thing every single day. But every time I turn up to work, it's quite different. I'm fortunate to work in a company at the moment where I get to work across different regions. Um, we have a product or a system of products that work together. So looking into each of those products is very different. Working on the different submissions is also very different and unique. And also the people that you get to work with is quite interesting. You get to work looking at the bigger picture, so you get to work across functionally so you don't just work say if you're an electrical engineer you're not just stuck in that same team you're working with electrical software and firmware mechanical etc so I think um, that makes the work even more exciting so fortunately I have had a mentor thus far um, she is on the other side of the spectrum in a couple of years she's planning to retire she reminds me every day um, that's been really helpful um, someone who can be a sounding board for my ideas to make sure i'm on the same um, wavelength as her or um, i'm taking two of a conservative approach with something that we're trying to um, wrestle um, at that point in time uh, it's also good to build my confidence as well um, coming into this space being a lot younger and there's a lot of older people working in the space I wasn't so confident to give my opinion um, but with her in my corner someone who I can go to after a meeting if I had a question or someone who's there to just encourage me and say hey that's a great question just ask um, that's been really helpful so I would recommend that everyone has a mentor or someone they can go to and get some advice even life advice as well it doesn't always have to be about work so I found out about RAPS membership through work uh, some of the more senior colleagues uh, said that it's a great resource. Um, there's different conferences you can go to, there's different um, webinars you can attend, different articles that come out. Uh, there's also a great community where you can um, ask different questions as well from people from all different companies all around the world and um, have a community in your corner. So I think uh, that's why I became a member and the rest of our team did as well and it's been a really great experience so far. Uh, a lot of the forums about MDR and the particular pain points that every company is going through. We thought we were the only ones that didn't think there's a light at the end of the tunnel, but to find out through the regulatory exchange, actually a lot of companies were on the same page, were struggling to understand uh, the transition, not sure if we're gonna make the transition or if we're putting in the right documentation or interpreting our GSPRs correctly. That's been really helpful thus far. This is my first time at Convergence. Uh, first time traveling in over two and a half years. I come from Australia, so a little bit far from here. Um, came as an opportunity to learn more. Uh, part of my professional development is uh, getting a better understanding of regulations. 
and developing my skills there. Um, so that's one of the reasons I came, looking at all the different workshops and the speakers. It's a great wealth of resource um, and knowledge that I could gain in such a short amount of time. Uh, and it's also an opportunity to network. Uh, in Australia, the uh, pool of medical device companies is a bit small. So coming here and playing with the big boys and being able to hear their experiences and get connected on LinkedIn um, has been a great opportunity so far. So I've really enjoyed it.